So what is the best mechanical switch for gaming in 2018 with hundreds of different gaming mechanical keyboards to choose from all with different characteristics it can be challenging finding the right one for you now some people prefer a tactile bump or click where others might prefer a more subtle linear keystroke now some people want a long travel key distance where others might just want a shorter rapid one in this video I'm gonna show you two of the most popular gaming switches in 2018 hopefully help you decide which one you should get coming up all right so welcome back my friends robin here on chips media bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming on this channel you'll find pc components tech gadgets and console accessories as well as uh, product reviews if you're interested in that consider subscribing in this video we gotta take a look at the uh, two of the most popular mechanical switches in 2018 with that said let's kick it off all right so mechanical switches have become more and more popular whoever the most budget friendly keyboards for gamers on the market today Today uses something called a rubber dome membrane which is not a mechanical switch and also raises the question is the rubber dome switch worth it that is a question I gotta have to answer in another video the one thing can be said although rubber dome is known for being reliable mechanical switches typically last longer in terms of keystrokes not always but typically hence one of the reasons why mechanical switches are more expensive anyway today we are gonna focus on mechanical switches as the title states now a ton of different switches available on the market today i'm gonna cover many other types of switches in the near future but today i've decided to narrow down the list to two popular ones the sherry mx red and the romer g tactile now before we dig into the testing i want to kick things off by a short history session of the switches to give you guys a better understanding why you should consider investing in either of them let's start with by far the most recognizable mechanical switch of them all the company that started the movement i'm talking about sherry corporation so sherry corporation was founded in the united states in 1953 <laughs> That is a long time ago and they started producing keyboards in 1967 making them the oldest keyboard manufacturer in the world that is still in business the company was moved to germany in 1967 and bought by zf friedrich <laughs> Friedrich Halfen AG in 2008. Sorry for my bad German language skills. Anyway, the, the keyboards and mechanical switches are still produced under the Sherry brand. Now, Sherry's most popular line of switches is the Sherry MX series, which was introduced around 1985. These switches are usually referenced by their physical color, with each color denoting the switch handling characteristics whether it's a clicky whether it's a tactile and how much force is required to actuate the switch now with that said guys the black red are the most common linear ones but there are also less common ones like the speed silver silent red etc but i will cover them more in depth in another video anyway the linear switches lacks the tactile bump or clickiness blue and brown on the other hand has a noticeable bump or tactile click to them which lets you know that the key press has been registered you know what robin that sounds freaking amazing and all but what the heck is the romer g then well all right so romer g is another type of mechanical switch made by logitech in partnership with the popular company omron who also does a wide range of switches for mice as an example like like many Sherry MX switches, Logitech's specifications on the Romer G reveal that it is lightweighted at 45 grams, but with a shorter acquisition point of 1.5 mm compared to the 2 mm on the most common Sherry MX switches. Now the Romer G is tested to 70 million keystrokes compared to 50 million keystrokes on the most common Sherry switches, which makes the Romer G one. one one of the highest rated keyboard switches in production now the romer g tactile that we are gonna try in today's video can 
can be compared in feel to the Shari MX Brown, where the Romer G Linear could be compared to the Shari MX Red to some extent. Now with that said, let's dig into the sound test. Now as you might be able to hear, the Romer G Tactile provides a distinctable tactile bump during accusation. Now the tactile accusation is minimal and so provides confidence and precision in the actuation moment without being too loud or distracting. Now according to Logitech, thanks to the shorter key travel distance, it also makes each keystroke a little bit faster. Now the Romer G Tactile is recommended for competitive and FPS gaming by many where you usually don't need to double tap a lot. Now Shari MX Red switches on the other hand are linear styled switches, their travel path doesn't have the bump used to provide tactile feedback. Now these switches don't have to reset past the bump to register a repeat press, so gamers who need a rapid double tap or triple tap key will enjoy the edge in speed here. Now the smoother movement makes these switches quieter than tactile and clicky switches, thanks to the linear path it makes makes them ideal for double tapping, for example games like MMOs and other type of action games. Now, with that said guys, obviously I cannot give you the magic answer to which switch you should get. That would be the million dollar dollar bill yo question, but hopefully this can help you along the way. I've covered a bunch of keyboards on the channel already and there are gonna be plenty of more new ones coming up as soon as more releases on the market. Also don't forget to visit the local store and yeah you gotta try 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 that is the best way to get a better feel to ultimately form your decision now guys i want to know in the comments which switch you prefer and why do you dig it so much now on this channel guys i cover a variety of gaming related peripherals tech console and pc components such as headsets headphones mics monitors and so on recently i listed the best budget gaming mice as well as the best mechanical gaming keyboards link to those videos can be found down below with that said, who am I to talk about this? Well, first off, I've been a gamer since I can't remember. I'm a tech Yankee and I've worked in the gaming peripheral scene in the past. I also built an overclock computer for 12 years and I've been a content creator for three. Now, there's a ton of videos just around the coin for you guys. Now, if you're looking for the best budget monitor, headset, keyboard, mouse pad, and more, consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Robin here on Chips Media. Until next time, guys, have an awesome day, alright? Bye.